Yeah, this, this is massive for the tech scene, not just in Dubai, the UAE, but regionally. I think um, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai, yesterday tweeted to say it was only 20 years ago that they started Dubai into that city. And now with uh, Soup.com and the Amazon deal and Kareem and Uber, uh, I think it just, you can't underestimate the impact to the, to the tech, uh, the startup uh, whole ecosystem here. And it's hugely exciting uh, across every element. Absolutely. And it's been you know, a, a rough couple of years in terms of investor sentiment, private investors um, worried about geopolitical events, the oil prices. They really drained sentiment here, I think, was fair to say over the last couple of years. But something like this coming as a time um, when investors are curious about where to put their capital um, and worried about the slowdown in China. There's so many things going on at the moment, geopolitically, economically, worries about a recession potentially in the United States. But for Dubai specifically, in terms of that ecosystem, and what we heard from uh, the head of Abu Dhabi Regulatory Authority as well. What are some of the advantages of being here as opposed to other parts of not just the Middle East but North Africa? Well, I think here just uh, the whole ecosystem and the way the government backs it and has driven it. So I mentioned Dubai Internet City 20 years ago, but it hasn't stopped there. And just across the road, we have Area 2071, uh, which has basically sucked government out of the ivory tower and brought it down to ground level so that people can talk to regulators, uh, talk to the various players that they need to use to, to, to transform and disrupt, and they can do it in an open environment. And you've got the same down the road in Abu Dhabi. And actually on Sunday, Magnus from Kareem was there at the launch of Hub 71. Uh, which is Mubadla's version, which is, again, uh, has a fund to invest in this, has the SoftBank uh, Vision Fund, portfolio companies all coming in, building into this ecosystem. I think it's hugely exciting. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.